Welcome back to the Art Trek YouTube channel. My name is Miss Lisa and I'm crazy about buttons. And today's lesson is button bouquets. Before we begin, let's look over the materials. You should have this in your bag. We have the lesson with these really nice examples. Some nice pieces of cardstock to work on and a bag of buttons. Now, if you ask your mom or dad, you might have some buttons at home that you can use to add to your art project. The only other thing that's important is here, and here's a black pen to outline your buttons and draw your flowers with. So that's the materials. Let's begin. Remember, you can pause the video at any time. If you're drawing a vase, make sure you draw the table in. You don't want your vase floating in thin air. If you're drawing a garden, just draw a straight line. Now dump out your buttons. Look them over. Start positioning them on the paper before you glue to make sure that they're a good distance apart so there's room to draw your petals and leaves. The nice thing about not gluing them is you can rearrange them until you're happy with your design. When you're ready to begin gluing, get your glue stick and look for the flat side of the button. Apply a generous amount on the back and stick it down on your paper. Then go ahead and add the rest of the buttons. Now that all your buttons are in place, get the black pen and start adding the petals and the flower shapes to your buttons. You can do whatever kind of crazy flower you want. There's no rules. And if one of your button comes up, just put a little more glue on and stick it back down. Don't forget to draw the stems. You've got to connect your flowers to your vase or to the ground if you did a landscape. watching the button bouquet lesson. We'll see you again next time on the Art Trek YouTube channel. Have a great day.